Uh, the next part of the uh, CBA IP2017 uh, sandbox installation would be to activate some license keys for whatever I will need to use for, for training. And uh, before I do it, I wanted to verify uh, the uh, ODBC data source for Siebel. It was there was one that was uh, created during Siebel uh, server installation, Siebel install underscore DSN. One surprising fact is that it's a 32-bit. I was uh, expecting a 64-bit uh, ODBC, so um, um, that's, that's a little bit of a surprise considering this is a 64-bit operating system and everything. Uh, but it is here and uh, I'll kind of note the name of it. I may have to use it for the license keys. Uh, and now I'll navigate to the folder that should have uh, my uh, batch file for activating uh, license keys. So we'll go to Siebel server bin folder and there should be a file in here license key module.bat. So let me look for it. Now this is it's right in here. Okay, so I'll double click that. Okay, and uh, let me browse to my Siebel server location. That's the location of my SIP SRVR folder, which will be under Siebel SES2 SIP server. Okay, ODBC DSN. So I double checked that, that it was called Siebel install underscore DSN table owner. Table owner is DBO for that schema for in SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server. Username, I'll go with Sadman and password. DB platform, uh, it is Microsoft SQL. And log folder, let me browse to that log folder location that I set up and let's press login okay okay so I made a mistake this is a case sensitive database so let me correct this uppercase Sadman. Let's see again. Okay, this worked better. So now it's more of a picking and choosing here. These uh, all these uh, license keys are inactive uh, uh, when you receive the database. When when you ha have a production database, you probably have uh, license keys that were purchased. But for training purposes, I'll just pick and choose here the module set. I uh, would like to be able to use to get trained on. And I will pause the recording here because it will probably take me a while to pick and choose all the uh, modules that I would like to have access to. Okay, it took me a few minutes, but I did select all the keys that I was interested in here and I'm clicking apply button. Okay, license keys apply successfully. And I can close my license activation utility. 